class uh, today is an asynchronous lesson, which means that you'll be watching uh, the two videos that are posted for you. This is part one, and then you'll be watching part two in order to complete the artist check-ins for the day. We're gonna be doing artist check-in number 23 and artist check-in number 24. First, what I'm gonna do is introduce the project to you and then um, show you some examples. And then I'll have you turn off part one. And then when you're done with um, what I asked you to work on, you'll go on to part two. Since we are here for um, two class periods, it is two lessons for today. So first, what I'm going to share with you guys is a slideshow. This can be found in the stream. This is explaining the project and giving you examples. So for our next typography assignment, which is art and text together, we're going to be working with what's called micrography. This is a type of art where an artist uses written word to form the drawing. You'll notice that the words are not written traditional like they would in a book or a letter where you write from left to right, but they're actually going to be written in the direction and in the shape in which the image is forming. The text that you create should have meaning to your visual image as well as your visual image should have meaning to your text. So artist Dan Duffy is probably one of the most well-known artists who has worked with micrography, although there are lots of artists who work in micrography. So feel free to Google search micrography and you'll find tons of examples of this type of art. Um, a great area you can look is if you click on his website. Again, this is found in the slideshow that is posted on the stream if you'd like to find his website. Um, and what you can see is when you scan through his work, you see, oh, he does a lot with um, stadiums, sport related things. But then when you click on the image and get it, a closer up look of it, you can see that all of this image is made completely out of text. Isn't that amazing? So instead of drawing, as we would traditionally draw something like this, we actually use text and words to fill in um, all of the areas. So very detailed work, some incredible stuff. So feel free to look at um, his website to get some ideas for what our project's gonna be like. Um, there's also a video post in the slideshow as well, which is Dan Duffy working in his studio and he explains a little bit about his process and you get to just see him doing his work. Um, it's only three minutes. So if you'd like to take a further look into um, what micrography looks like from Dan Duffy's viewpoint, go ahead and um, check out that video. Again, that's in the stream in the slideshow for micrography. So what you're gonna do today is you're going to be completing artist check-in 23 and then you're gonna be completing artist check-in 24. Or you can do check-in 24 first and then do check-in 23. But you are going to do both artist check-ins 23 and 24. So for artist check-in 23, you're gonna be sketching out your visual idea first in pencil. For artist check-in 24, you're going to be writing out text, words, sentences, quotes, poems, lyrics, journaling, any kind of written word that's gonna be related to that visual image that you're creating. Or like I said, you can do text first. So you can write out lyrics or words or sentences and then take those words or sentences, those lyrics and come up with a visual example and do artist check in 23. Do you, so do you understand what I'm saying about going back and forth between either doing 23 first or 24, but you gotta do both of them. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. So the image you see here sketched of this um, person kind of scrunched up and they have these big wings. That's my visual representation. That's what I would turn in for artist check in 23. It's done in pencil. It's a basic sketch of what my idea is gonna be for the visual. Then in the bottom corner, do you see where all this written language is here? On another sketchbook sheet of paper, or you could use the backside too, you're gonna to write out some text that's related to your image. Um, I would like you to try for two sentences and five words. If you want to do more, you can. So you can see here, I put brave little wings, wings, free, escape, angel, feathers, sadness flies away on the wings of time. So all of that is words that we can connect to this visual image, okay? And that's artist check-in number 24. So 23, you're sketching out an idea. 24, you're just writing down text that's related to that visual idea that you sketched out. Okay, here's some more examples. 
I sketched the skull first. This is my visual example for artist check-in number 23. And then for artist check-in number 24, I jotted down back side of my sketchbook or a new sheet of paper is fine. Um, two sentences and five words. Death is not the opposite of life, but a part of it. Don't fear death, fear life unlived. Death, skull, living, fear, acceptance. And again, here's another example. This is artist check-in number 23 where I put the visual image down on paper in pencil. And then 24, I'm just jotting down some text that would be related to that image, okay? I'm not merging the two together. We're gonna to talk about that in the second part of this async lesson, okay? So the first part right now is to sketch out your visual idea, turn that into artist check in 23, just picture, doesn't need to be posted to your website, literally just a picture posted directly to artist check in 23, and then take a picture of your text that you wrote down and turn that into artist check-in 24. When you finish both of those, come back and you're going to do part two, which is our second lesson for our asynchronous learning today. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, I may be late to respond as I'm not here in class um, today, but I will be able to get back to you um, within reason.